Hi guys, I'm up on uh, Richfield Township investigating an exciting report. I'm gonna meet a, a guy named Todd out here on the road. It just happened to just come into Litchfield. What's gonna happen here is uh, we're gonna interview him and uh, get, tell his story on tape. Right now I'm on the road. I'm in Litchfield, Ohio. Uh, it's Sunday, September 26, 2010, and we'll get back to you shortly uh, with his story and the place where he had his encounter. Just thought I'd let you know about that, what I'm doing here. Tell me your story starting now. All right, we were fishing, me and uh, my brother, my mother, and my 11-year-old son. Me and my brother were like right here, standing like, you guys wanna walk up this way? Yeah, go ahead. We were standing right up here fishing. I don't know, I think I was just casting. And yeah. My brother Dean came because he didn't have fish and stuff, and he was in my tackle box at my feet. We were standing like right here. And he's like, uh, Todd, you see that? And he had this big smile on his face. I'm like, what? He said, over there. And he points right over there, where that little, you know, dog leg comes out. And I'm looking, I don't see nothing. And uh, I'm like, where? Because I was, at first I was looking over there, like in the little cove, mm -hmm. kind of. He's like, no, right there. And then I seen. And right where that little opening is, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Yeah, I got it, yeah. But, like, I seen something, like, step back. And it was like, it looked like a shadow rocking, like, back and forth. And I'm looking. Look at Dean, and he's always been known to have really good eyes. My brother, he can, going down the highway, he can see a sign and see what it says, you know, way before. And I got perfect eyes, you know, but he could see it before. And uh, he's like, I says, what's it look like? He said, Bigfoot. And, you know, he knows I used to be interested in this it. This is uh, <laughs> Dean said that? Yeah, my older brother. And uh, so I'm looking, he's like, you see any more? I said, no, it looked like it went back. He said, that's what it looked like to him. He's like, let's go over there. So my mom and my son are over there where that tree comes down where it's kind of steep. Right. Because there was a good uh, bluegill. They were catching a lot of bluegill. Mm -hmm. They didn't even know. We set our rods down. Me and Dean walked across the field. We got inside the woods, past that little field, but inside the woods about, you know, 30, 40 yards. And I'm looking around on the ground for, you know, Bigfoot tracks like you see on, you know, whatever. I don't see nothing. I mean, nothing at all. Don't hear nothing, really. Well, my son and my mom are out here, and Dean, you know, was a little shook up, and I was too, because we weren't sure if it was somebody out there, or... And I was like, you know what, Dean, and then I was telling myself, maybe I didn't see anything, I was like, I'm going back. So I start back out of the woods, Dean, I don't know if he said he was going to stay, or he just kind of hung back, and he was still looking around. And as soon as I got, like, 20 paces, or 30 paces in the field here, I think there was beans in it, I heard a crack, and I mean, it wasn't windy or nothing. And I heard the loudest crack. I mean, not like somebody hitting something, but like, I mean, it was real loud, like a baseball bat being cracked in half. And I turned around like this, and my brother come out of them woods, and he was as white as a ghost. And I mean, you know, me and my brother are both pretty big guys. And he's running. The first thing he says is, Todd, that wasn't me. And I'm like, and by that time, my mom and my son started walking over, because they heard it too, and they didn't know. So we started explaining to them, well, then my son starts getting upset. He's like, Dad, I want to go. Well, we had a cooler sitting here, and I had some popcorn balls in it. Right. And I told my son and Dean, I was like, man, you know, I had a camera phone. I was like, I want to go there, you know, just kind of kidding around, but seriously, like, you know. And my mom and my son, and they're like, no, let's get out of it. We just had this, I had the feeling, too, like, Whatever that noise was, it was like a threatening noise. You know, that crack was like, I mean, you know, All right, we're going know up to the whatever. area. But we decided Towards to the area where he actually, in the, in the says, woods. Well, climb a tree, 
And if bear climbs up after you and knocks you out, we're talking a little other bear. stories too. He's telling the tree until you fall out of the man with me. <laughs> and uh, very excited about this report. You were born out here? Well, I was born in uh, Fairview Hospital in Cleveland, Kyle County. Yeah. I used to live out this way though. And I was, you know, up and up. Yeah. All right, we're going in. There's some old junk. Yeah? You know, I didn't see this stuff, so you might okay. have seen this side a little more. I don't remember seeing any, like, metal or anything. Right. Must have come in right through over here because got it, Nick? Yeah. Right over there, huh? I just got these sheets at all these, thirty dollars. Yes, yeah, you gotta break them in all right. For, you know, I you know work outside. Yeah. All right. It's about where we were looking around, we kind of walked this way. When we came into the woods, I was like, just looking at the ground. But it was kind of like this too, you couldn't see no, you know. Right. Foliage. Yeah. We're in a slightly mm -hmm. good snap there. See? Yeah. Hey, this you guys this is a shot of the area where he, that his brother was in here. A lot of uh, debris in here now. It's been a year since he's been back in here, but at the lake where he was fishing. No, a couple months, he says. I'm sorry about that. Let's rephrase that. But this area here looks prosperous of uh, something might have come through here, which we're making this report. The garage sale. And there was some, and we were still all shaken up about this. You know, me, my mom, my brother, and my son. We were still like, we couldn't believe it. You know, we're talking. That's all we were talking. You know, it only happened 20 minutes earlier. Yeah. So we pull in the garage sale, and we're kind of looking around, but we're dying to tell this lady that. You know, so I said, man, you're gonna think we're stupid, but I start telling her what happened. And she goes, oh no, I don't think you're stupid. She goes, my father swears that there's a Bigfoot highway that runs behind that church and goes all the way south to, you know. Spencer. And, I don't, if I said any more, I'd be lying. I don't remember exactly what she said. But she said something like there's a Bigfoot highway that goes from somewhere to somewhere else. Okay. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah. We're coming across this shed we found that would definitely, uh, explain in the middle of the woods that noise I mean that well maybe sunday. somebody was back here yeah, right. doing this stuff oh we're pretty far from the church yeah um probably on somebody's property some old buildings it's, it's, it's over. huh it fell over, huh? So probably any... Wow. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We got a tree stand up there. Somebody's been hunting. Oh, yeah. Somebody left the tree stand up here. Maybe got a camera there, too. Uh, wait a minute. They got a camera on it. means we're going to get our picture taken. On the stand? Yeah, they're probably doing research. Oh. Either that or deer. Yeah, they have trail cameras. I don't see one. Um, this is a nice opening here, though, you know? Yeah, but we're in the middle of the woods somewhere, and if somebody's got a tree stand out here, it practically looks new, too. Oh, yeah. So well, you know you know they're out here hunting. Yeah. Well, let's... But we're not here to bother that tree stand. We're out here just to do research. <laughs>